Hi everyone, it's Ms. Mayorga again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, change the background of your game if you're doing like different levels, right? For level one, level two, level three kind of thing. Um, it will show you how to change the background. Now, I realized that I was doing it probably the more complicated way originally in class. So I'll show you what I was doing in class and then I'll show you what I realized was a much quicker way to do it. So in class, uh, I was creating a separate sprite for that background. So first off, regardless of whatever method you're using, you need your backgrounds in your animations app. So make sure you upload your backgrounds for your different levels, right? This is my main main background, and then this is going to be level two. So I guess this is level one, level two. And if you're going to have other levels, then add them in there. But what I was doing in class was um, I created a sprite for level two. So I... Uh, and if you do this, make sure that you create it uh, towards the top of your sprite section, right after your main background. Otherwise, it will if you create it at the bottom of your sprite section, it will cover all your items and your players and your platform. It'll cover it up because the order matters. Remember, order matters in code. So whatever uh, you create first, that's what's going to get drawn first. Um, and everything else will get drawn on top. So what I was doing was I was creating a completely second sprite, a uh, separate sprite. So I said background uh, level two. That looks like twelve, but it's level two. And then I was saying uh, background level two. So you can kind of wait to see how I'm doing this, and then wait to see the second method. So you choose which method you want to to do. And I change my animation. So if I run the program, I will see that background. It looks good. I don't need to change the size or anything. It looks good. And now I'm going to set it to visible false. This method is probably useful if maybe you're not doing like a full background, but instead you're having things appear on your screen. Um, if you are having like little things appear, maybe you have like a, a, a nice little extra surprise up here. I don't know. Maybe you want to add like a random, a random thing up here after each level, like it's collecting items. I don't know. Then you would do separate sprites. For background, this method that I'm showing you is probably not the most efficient, but I'm going to show you in case you prefer to do it this way. So background level two, I created a sprite for that. All right, great. Uh, oh, the visibility should be false because I don't want it to be visible at the beginning of the game. Okay. Then I would go down to the multiple screens function that we have already created, right? We created uh, this different screens function where we were able to define like when the win screen would would appear and when the lose screen would appear i think in my video i might have made these two separate functions but i realized that you can just combine them into one function so you can pause this and take a look at it in case you need to change it but here we would set another if statement so basically we can say level two, right? Level two screen. And I can say if my score is greater than or equal to five, I'm just going to say, you know, greater than or equal to five score or just three. So I can test it out greater than or equal to three. Then uh, I want the visibility of that second background to be true. Background level two to be true. And I would probably want the visibility of my main background. Honestly, it shouldn't matter because it, it covers up the old background. So I could probably just leave it like this. Yeah, let's just do that. So this should work. Once I, my score gets to three, the background changes, yeah. And once I get past seven, I win. Yeah, score greater than seven, I win. Great, so that works. That would be one method that you could use to um, change your background and if you have like a level four level you know level three level four you would do the same thing change whatever the score is and make the visibility for that sprite true however i realized that instead of doing this let me delete that uh, keep keep the structure and then i'm going to go back up to the top and i'm actually going to delete the sprite i had created so I just have one background sprite, my game background. And instead of creating a completely separate sprite, I could simply change the animation at that point. So in my if statement, 
I would simply use the sprite set animation block game background. And I would just change the animation. If you remember that coding lesson um, a few a few lessons ago where the, the it was a horse going diagonally across the screen and then it changed to a unicorn, that's the same exact idea. In that lesson, we did not create a separate sprite for the unicorn. We simply took the sprite that existed and we changed the animation. So this is the mo more efficient method of doing it. All right, simply adding an if statement when the score is greater than three, change the animation of the existing a background sprite. So this should still work the same exact way, but I didn't have to create a whole new sprite. One, two, three, there you go, All right, there you go. And you would just do it again. If your score, say your score is, uh, you're gonna do a level three, level three. Then I would say if my score is greater than or equal to five this time, let me add a background here. So I can just add the background, but I don't have to create the sprite, All right? So I'm gonna add a new background. Oh, this is nice. Sure, I'll do that. If my score is greater than or equal to five, then I just simply change the animation by grabbing the sprite.set animation. Game background. I didn't have to create a new sprite or anything. I'm just changing the animation. And I think it's this one. All right, so I should see that my, my screen changes once I hit three points five points and then the windscreen at seven points. Oh no, I got, okay, well, oh no, sorry. I'm gonna try to do this quickly. One, two, three, okay, it changes. And then it should change at five. There we go, it changed at five. And then after seven, you win. Ta-da, right, so much easier. <laughs> so I would recommend using this second method. All you need to do, you don't even need to add anything up here. Right, you don't need to add anything as long as you have your main background. All you need to do is go into that function that we had created for different screens where we created the windscreen and the screen. All you need to do is uh, create an if statement, use an if statement, and set the animation to a, whatever picture you want. Right, and you would just repeat this process for however many levels you have. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, I do apologize. It's late at night and I'm recording this video. Um, but if you do have any questions, for those of you who are in my class, send me a message on Schoology. I say this in every video or ask me in class. Um, you can also come to office hours. Remember, I have office hours Mondays and, no, sorry, Wednesdays and Fridays, 2.30 to 3, 3.30, okay? So I will see you in the next video or I will see you in class. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.